Hey guys, so first of all, um, just ignore how I look. Haven't made an effort or anything. I think I'm getting a spot that's really horrible. Um, my skin keeps getting really bad recently. Um, anyway, yeah, just ignore how I look. I did exercise earlier and um, I still need to have a bath and everything, which is always a challenge when you have young children. But anyway, um, so just ignore how I look, basically. I just wanted to quickly um, make my day one video on the Insanity workout. Um, which most people have probably heard of Insanity um, Challenge, like the 60 day challenge. Um, obviously it's 60 days and then at the end of the 60 days you're supposed to have, well, I mean it depends because everyone's different with their weight loss and what they look like after, but the results are amazing. If you look up success stories, they are really good. Um, it's probably the best program I've seen as far as exercise goes. I haven't obviously done it before, but um, you start off with the fit test, which is day one, which you do the fit test every two weeks. Um, the fit test to me wasn't as hard as I thought it would be, to be honest. Um, it depends how fit you are generally anyway, because some people would find it tougher than other people. It was hard. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say it's easy, because it wasn't. Um, and it was hard, but not as hard as I pictured it being. Um, obviously that's just a fit test. That's not the actual, you know, anything else. That's just a fit test. And, um, some people, like, are complaining they're dying just from the warm-up, which I wasn't. Personally, I found the warm-up fine. Um, but some people say that the warm-up felt like a workout, like an actual workout, which it didn't to me. But again, because I've been exercising on and off anyway, and I've done interval, um, cardio, I think it is, an interval cardio thing, which I did online. Um, because the, in, the Insanity DVDs are interval training. Um, and it does literally kick your butt and no one has said if you ask anyone who has done the insanity dvds has completed it they will all say hey that it's very hard like if you watch clips of it the trailer it's nuts like you wouldn't understand how you could actually do that like it it just is really difficult and but it's got the best results so if you want good results and you want the body you want then you have to kind of do it so obviously i'm on day one and i will do a two-week review which most people do a two-week review because you have a rest week um after the two weeks so um before going into month two because it's obviously eight weeks the program um so yeah and obviously the most important thing which you should do when doing the um any sort of exercise program just like the 30 day shred, um, you need to take before and after pictures, obviously. I haven't taken my pictures yet, I will do that. Um, and then take pictures again with the Insanity DVD, um, the program, I will be taking pictures again at four, the four week mark. Um, once I've completed month one, and then after month two, I would take another picture. Some people like to wait till 60 days, others don't, they wait till 30 days. It's up to you, but I wouldn't do it more often than that because the results won't look as good. You kind of want the results to look really good, obviously. And if you wait at least four weeks, um, you know, then you will see good results. And most people say that the weight loss you notice after you hit the 14 day mark. So, um, thank you. Thank you. A bit of chocolate on the floor, yuck. Yeah, yuck. Um, anyway, so um, the um, weight loss, I tend to weigh myself once a week as it is, so I'll just carry on doing that, but um, with the Insanity program, I think most people that I've read who have done it um, and completed it, or YouTube videos of people completed it, have said that the... Um, you notice the the most amount of weight loss or you notice a considerable considerable amount after the two-week mark um so yeah um i don't know what my measurements are because i have done that but i don't know because it's on my phone and i'm currently filming on my phone so um i will have to i will probably i'll just tell you that in the two-week review and i'll just go over what my um, measurements were but I'm not going to measure myself until the 60 day mark obviously you shouldn't measure yourself too often because um, it's a lot more it takes a lot longer to lose the inches off areas of your body than it does to lose weight so um, for me I want to lose a stone and my current weight is around 134 I haven't weighed myself for a while I think about a week ago I did I'm not sure I'm going to weigh myself on Friday because that's generally when I weigh myself it's a Friday so I weigh myself Friday um, 
I'll just say that my starting weight is 134 pounds because that is what I know, knew my last my last time I weighed myself was 134 pounds. So I'm just going by that as my starting weight. And then when I weigh myself, I will do it every Friday. So, yeah. Um, so, but like I said, I want to lose about a stone. Um, so I get to my pre-pregnancy weight before I had Kai. I'm not going stupid. Some people may be like, why do you need to lose a stone? And, you know, um, because when I said that to my mum... And I can't remember who else, I think it was Jake's mum and, you know, or even my mum's partner, you know, they were like, why do you need to lose a stone? You don't need to lose a stone. But it's not like I'm trying to lose a stone to go smaller than I was. I'm just trying to get back to what I was before I had kids, which was a healthy weight for my height. It's not like I'm going stupid and want to be really, really, really underweight and etc. 120 pounds is my goal weight. So... Um, because I was 119 before I had Kai. So that's the marks I want to get to around that, and I'll be happy. And um, obviously the main area I dislike is my stomach area and love handle area, because that's where you tend to hold on to the most fat. And obviously since having two children, that area is the worst area I have. So that's the main area I want to work on, so I'm hoping this will help with that. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you... I will speak to you at the, the two-week review mark kind of thing. Um, so if you have any questions or anything, then just feel free to ask. And like I said, I will speak to you when I hit the two-week mark, because um, I'm currently on day one, obviously, so in 13 days I will do that video and then update you on my progress. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. It's not really a lot to talk about because I've only just started it. So, um, but I know it's going to be tough and you just have to kind of... And I'm just trying to find ways of staying motivated. Because um, I'm not very good at staying motivated. But um, I've joined loads of fitness people on um, Instagram as well, which helps keep you motivated. You just need to find something to really motivate you. Maybe it's like something you want to fit into, like a pair of jeans or a dress or... I don't know, you have a special occasion coming up, which I don't, so that's a bit more difficult. If I had something to look forward to in, like, a few months' time, then it may make me stick at it longer, if that makes sense. I like actually stick at it. Um, but I don't have anything planned. So the only thing that's making me stay motivated is obviously the end result and the fact that it's summer. So I need to get in shape for summer, basically. And, yeah, so that's it, I think. Anyway, I'm just rambling. So, yeah, I will speak to you in two weeks, just less than two weeks' time. So, yeah, bye.